So this is all about mirror checks today. If you're not very good at your mirror checks or you don't understand them, then stay tuned. So it's all about effective mirror checks today. So I'm just gonna get out of here slowly because it's a little bit uh, tight. And um, on the way to the next lesson, we're gonna talk about mirror checks. So we're gonna do a right turn out of here. So I'm checking what's in my center mirror, what's in my right mirror, and then looking what's ahead of me. So I know what's uh, possibly inside of me and what's behind me. Taking my time getting out because it's not priority there. And we're gonna do a right turn out of here. So I'm checking my mirrors again, I'm signaling. Of course, the, the mirror check is followed by the signal because if you're going left to right you need to tell people what you're up to and I'm just going to follow the road out of here if you don't do your mirror checks by the way you won't know what's happening around you um, or on the side of you because your sensor mirror points um, what's behind you if you set it correctly it's directly behind you so you can see what's in the back window a bit like looking over your shoulder but when you look over your shoulder you've got a bit more of a view there's a bit more blind spots you covered but uh, your side mirrors, if they're set correctly, you should be able to see what's at the side of the car, uh, rather than all the car. So you need to make sure they're set correctly. So uh, just remember to check your mirrors and set them correctly. Let's get out of here. A little bit more of a traffic here, which is, which is fine. You know, it's not a, a big deal. But uh, when you're when you're in busy traffic, it's quite important to keep an eye on uh, your mirrors, keep an eye on what's happening around you and so on. I'm going to get in the right lane, so I'm just going to do a little shoulder check, make sure there's nothing in the blind spot. And um, if, if you're doing good mirror checks all the time, or 99% of the time, uh, you're doing them uh, regular, then it, it just becomes second nature and um, under pressure you'll do them as though it's normal where if you're not doing them and you have to get prompted to do them by your instructor or your family member then it's not going to become normal for you, you you're constantly getting told to, to do your mirrors um, so when you're under pressure you're not going to do them because at that point you're not used to doing them you have to keep getting told and when you're under pressure like I say you've got other things to think about so we've got a lot of crossroads here um, we're in Milton Keynes by the way, if people are wondering. I'm just going to wait for my priority. So it's going, if people wonder about crossroads here, this is what we've got here is a, is a, is obviously it's a, it's a dual carriageway crossroad, which is slightly unusual. And it's a priority for each one from your left. So when I gave way, my left went off. When they're stopped, their left's going off. When they're stopped, their left, and then so on. So, if you're in a situation, you can go and brake neutral and rest for a, for a good 20, 30 seconds, and then the traffic on me right when they start moving, that's when I'm going to put it in gear because there's no point in having your foot on the clutch in gear. You're going to, your foot's going to get tired. Your leg, your leg will get tired. So I'm just waiting. Now the traffic on me right is just starting to move. So this is a good point to put it into gear and wait. Get all ready and then keeping on the lights at that point. So at the moment they're on red, the one directly in front of you, the red light's not working. So you look at the other, other lights. I'm just waiting and then once we move off from here, we'll carry on with the mirrors. So it won't be long now, I reckon about another 10 seconds. So you can, I can just see cars speeding up, which means they're trying to beat the lights. Yeah, now I want to shot through it then. So here we go, won't be long. There you go. I'm just checking to make sure there's no one on my side of the car then. Because what I've done then is I've been sat at the front of the uh, traffic and in traffic you're going to get possibly bicycles going down the sides because uh, they want to go through the traffic. So just keep an eye on what's at the side of you. Or you can get a person walking between cars. So I'm going to go left. So I'm checking what's behind me. There's a blue car. Checking what's inside of me. And I'm slowing down for a lower gear. It's the second gear I'm going to use. I'm checking to be right, nice and well, it was nice and clear. There's a car coming into first gear, and I'm waiting for the traffic. The signal goes back on, and I'm checking that left mirror, same again. 
top left mirror check checking for what's uh, outside of the car because like I said a few minutes ago if you're in, in traffic and you're waiting you could get a bicycle going past you on the left and coming next to you and if you're not aware of them and you turn you might hit them so be, be careful for the uh, for people it's, it's not just cars you're looking out for but other, other road users so we're just going to follow the road heads I'm checking what's happening around me you know, so I'm using my mirrors because if, if I've got an idea what's happening then I'm more aware of things now, if I'm checking my mirrors and I see a car flying down one of my other side of me, then um, I'll probably be more aware of them and, and more more inclined to keep an eye on that mirror, see what they're up to, because they might end up doing something silly. If they're going past you fast, they might try and cut it back in. So that's why the mirrors are quite important. Checking my three mirrors again as I'm approaching. Checking to the right, it's definitely clear. And then I'm checking center, left, telling people I'm coming off. So mirror checks again, because I'm speeding up, checking what's inside of me. And I know there's nothing there at the moment, but if you get into good habits of doing it regular and correctly, then you're gonna be fine, because we're under pressure, you're gonna do it. So I'm slowing down. So all the time when I'm checking my mirrors, I'm doing my brakes on my gears and doing my observations. And um, the better you get at your driving, the higher your standard becomes. You, you'll find you'll have more time to do mirrors, more mirror checks. Because if you're just driving along like this, and not even looking, then you haven't got a clue what's happening behind you. You know, you're not even checking your mirrors. So just say to yourself, well, if I'm not great at my mirrors, then start checking them every 20 seconds, 30 seconds to start with to get, to get you looking and then start to look when you feel you need to look so I'm slowing down for the roundabout so I'm checking what's happening around me, that blue car is still there, there's a white car right behind him I don't know if you can see in the, the, re, the rear view mirror but it's tailing him pretty close remember that video on tail, tailgating I don't know, I'll put a link at the top by the way if no one's seen that one you go tailgating someone and then they slam the brakes and you go straight into them. So the blue car is going to overtake me. He's pulling out. Uh, it's not actually gaining ground. So he, what he's done there is he's just think, oh, it's a learner, I'm going to overtake him. So he's in the right lane at the moment, not making ground on me because he's not putting his foot down. So he's come back in now. A bit of impatience there, really, because I pulled off reasonably okay. And then I've got a bus lane coming up so I'm checking what's happening around me and I'm going to follow the road ahead at the roundabout and I can see the traffic lights for the bus on the coming up and then a track and then a roundabout and I'm going to go back to the left lane to go ahead because I can't do that so I'm just letting people know I'm going back in the left lane checking what's happening on the, the roundabout looks fairly clear so I'm going to go ahead part-time signals going through do you know what part-time signals were, by the way? They tend to work in rush hour. So, because it's not rush hour, it's like 2.35, and they're not going to be on. So, at the roundabout, I'm going to do a right turn, and I'm all the time while I'm talking and driving, I'm looking ahead of me, looking behind me, using my mirrors, and you might think, oh, I'm doing it all too much. Well, as long as you're driving safely and you've got time to do it, do it. Now, wrong with checking your mirrors regular. You know, the more you know what's happening behind you, side of you, uh, especially when you're reaching hazards, whether it be a roundabout or uh, traffic, if you know what's happening behind you, outside of you, then you've got an idea um, what might happen afterwards. Because if you see someone coming up, you come up side of you fast on the right, you know they're, they're going to shoot past you or they might try and cut in on you so um, you just got to be aware of these things and the more driving you do the more mirror checks you'll get good at the easier it becomes so we're going to do a right turn at the roundabout so when the lights change we'll move on if, if you're new to my channel by the way there's a subscribe button on the bottom corner just click on that and you'll get my videos every monday morning coming up so you'll be able to see them I'm just keeping an eye on the traffic on my left, just in case anyone tries to be cheeky cutting. Lights are on green, keep an eye on them. And the filter's bringing me out the lane. I'm checking my mirrors and signaling 
match on green. I'm staying in the right lane because I know the area and I know the left lane goes to the bus station. You see on the arrows on the ground, but if you didn't, you'd see the arrows on the ground at that point. And I'm not going to accelerate too hard, then green lights might change. And that's just me anticipating the fact that if they start to change, I've got the, the time to slow down and stop. But I would, I'm checking all the time what's happening around me and so on. So, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, it's just really to give you an idea, checking your mirrors, let them know what you should be doing. Um, because if you are doing the mirror checks regular all the time, they get easier and easier. You'll do them all the time. And under pressure, like I said at the beginning, under pressure, you're gonna do them because if you're gonna change lanes, you're gonna check. Where under pressure, you're gonna change lanes, you're gonna go like that, but looking. So regular checks is the key. Get used to it, get it done when it's easier, and then under pressure, you'll do it. Okay, good luck with them lessons and um, keep watching.